This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. This is Jay with Car Guys New England, and today's another Panther platform video. One thing that absolutely fucking drives me nuts about my Lincoln Town Car. Let's head over to Kenny's. All right, so uh, we're on our way to Ken's, um, just taking back roads. But uh, let's listen for a moment. And that is the sound of another bad fucking axle. It drives me absolutely shithouse nuts. Uh, we're gonna try to figure it out today why a set of Moser axles only lasted about 11 months. Uh, I replaced them in last February, uh, early last February. So, Let's see what the hell's going on. Let's get the car over to Kenny. Uh, we're gonna limp it over there because uh, this actually sounds really, really bad. Um, but it's definitely the outer bearing surface. Uh, I just know by, not, not only by sound, but also by feel of the car, that that surface is getting cut in again. And last time, again, we put Moser axles in, new bearings, um, you know, all of that. And here we are. 10, 11 months later, and they are toast once again. Uh, we do have a theory that we're going to look into, um, and hopefully that solves this issue. So let's get over to Ken's and see what happens. What's going on, Kenny? What's going on? What do we got going on here today? Just a big mess. Oh! Axle bearing. Axle. Yeah, have to do some cleaning for sure. Thanks. And that's a little bad. Just a little bit. I can't wait to see how cut in it is. It's gonna be cut in. I'm thinking three eighths of an inch. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see. I'm looking into. Uh, in addition, so you can just see the metallic shit in there. We're gonna have to clean this out. All right. Holy fuck. That's crazy. It actually looks like it's perfectly machined. <laughs> like it's supposed to wow, be. Wow, dude. That is bad. I've never had a cut axle that bad. Yeah, it sounded like a box car going down the road. Tubes full of fluid. It's like you know, you get no, you can get an oil out here. It doesn't even look that dirty in there. Obviously, it is, but huh. I've seen differentials that are just full of metal. You know. Yeah. Wow. That's strange. Well, we'll check that vent tube too. Yeah. Just in case. <clears throat> The vent tube's clear. Your drum is all rotted, that's why. Uh, and it's beginning to. Yeah, it's got a little bit of wear. Get the old bearings out. This 
So one theory that we have is that the contamination inside the uh, tube left over uh, might be chewing up the, uh, the axles. So what we did was we got this wooden dowel from the local hardware store and a piece of pipe insulation, which we're gonna put on the end here and then use it basically to go into the hole and we're gonna pull out as much of the contamination as we can. And we're using hose clamps to hold the pieces. Won't come off, so. All right, so it's gonna be like swabbing a cannon. <laughs> yeah. Get it in, bring it down to the bottom, and we're gonna pull it out and see what kind of gunk comes out. Hopefully, yeah, we got a lot of it out. Get most of it out. Maybe change it to a new piece. I have an idea. What's that? Let's uh, put a rag. On it, on it and then we'll swab it out with the rag after we use this to get the heavy heavy crud yeah there's a lot of metallic crap in there oof yeah, me... it'd be a cool looking paint <laughs> yeah it would be actually This is some real MacGyver shit. But it works. I'm a MacGyver. Miss MacGyver. And Kenny's just pulling out the uh, excess sludge out of the uh, driver's side tube. And then uh, he's going to hit this side with the uh, rag over that. And we're being very careful not to push the gunk in. We're actually pulling it all out. Alright, so this side's cleaned up. Kenny is putting in the New bearing. Oh yeah, maybe we get the bearing installed. Jump in the gun here. Cool. Right. The oil seal is in. And the new axle. Is in. Can you um, you need me to push the axle just, in? Just a little bit. Okay. It's real close. It's not moving. Oh. All right, hold on. I think. Okay. Not budget. Yeah, no, it's, it's take its time all the way. So what do we got going on here, Kenny? Trying to clean out any uh, debris that might be left in the the bottom of this pumpkin. Yep. Just to prevent any comebacks. So what's your uh, what's your game plan here? Since we didn't really find anything other than a ton of debris in the tubes. In uh, well, we changed our, the both sides bearings, axles, seals, blew up the vent. We're gonna put new fluid in it after we cleaned out the tubes and the pumpkin and then we're gonna come back in a short time and re uh, take the cover back off clean it all back out and hopefully get any remaining remaining stuff out of the uh, axle so hopefully that'll work I hope so too I'm so tired of changing axles every 10 months <laughs> yeah I, I think the only other thing 100% proper way to do is be gut the whole thing and clean it out, right? But yeah. That, that would be a project. That's a project. So we're going to try this. Awesome. Cleaning up the brakes. And we got the brake, brake rotor back on. We'll get the calipers back on. Clean up the rim and tire. 
yeah. button it up and road test. Do 100 miles an hour back on the highway. Yep. All right, we got the car all wrapped up and uh, I'll take it for a road test. And then, uh, like Kenny said earlier in the video, I'm gonna end up bringing it back to uh, flush out the uh, gear oil in the back. And, uh, you know, we'll check the condition of it then. The vent wasn't clogged like I thought it was and it definitely wasn't starved for oil. So it had to have been that contamination uh, in there, as you saw earlier in the video, it actually looked like gray metallic paint coming out of the uh, out of the ends of the uh, axles or axle housing. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys. So um, just road testing, and uh, everything is smooth and quiet. I'm actually going the same speed down the road as I was earlier in this video. So uh, you can you don't hear that chatter in the background anymore and uh, everything seems good. So it was a little surprising not to find a clogged uh, vent on the differential, that uh, tube that, that's on there. Uh, so we do theorize that the leftover shavings from other axles that were in there that we cleaned out were possibly the problem, and I'd say with a high probability that that's the case. Um, but anyways, we'll definitely follow up this video. If anybody has any experience about this, feel free to chime in down below. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, obviously give the video a like. This is Jay with Car Guys New England. Until next time, take care.